Defining functions. You can create your own functions in Python. In fact, this is one of the most powerful features of programming, the ability to create your own functions. Let's talk about three major advantages of functions. First, they allow us to reuse code. Second, they allow us to debug a chunk of code in isolation from the rest of the program. Third, they let us break a program down into smaller pieces. We don't have to worry about how the functions work internally. To create a new function, you use the def keyword, which stands for define. You write def, the name of the function, in open parentheses, each of the parameters separated by commas, a closed parentheses, a dash, and a greater than, the return type of the function, and a colon. The parameters need variable names, a colon, and the parameter type. This entire line is called the header. When you call a function, you are executing the code stored in the body of the function. Everything inside the body should be indented four spaces. In the block version, this is shown visually with a bar on the left. The body must be there. In other words, it cannot be empty. Usually, you should use a verb as the name of the function. The name helps other programmers understand what the function does. Naming a function is just like naming a variable. You may only use letters, numbers, and underscores, and it cannot start with a number. After you've defined a function, you can use it by calling the function. As we did before, we combine the name of the function with calling parentheses. Note how we still pass in arguments. Here we call the function add5 twice, first passing in the argument 10, and then calling it again with the argument when you define a function, you can choose to add in parameters to the header. These parameters will take on the value of the arguments when the function is called. This can be very tricky to understand. Each argument exactly matches one parameter. In the code below, the parameter will first match to 3, negative 2, and negative 10. The parameter second will match to 8, 5, and 10. Remember, each function call happens one after the other. In modern Python, we specify the type of each parameter. So far, we know of five types, integer, string, float, bool, and none. Anytime you call that function, the arguments must match the type of the parameter. When defining a function, you can make it return a value. Most functions return some kind of value. We make Python return values using the return statement. We describe what type of value the function returns using the arrow and a type in the header. But note that it is the return statement that actually makes a value get returned. The header just describes what should be returned. When you call a function, a value is always returned. Even if you forget the return statement, the special value none will be returned. If you're writing code in the console, then you will see any none non values appear. But if you're writing code in a regular editor, the value will not appear in the console unless you print. We will sometimes print the result of calling a function, but remember that printing is not necessary to call a function. Sometimes we want to define a function without writing its body just yet. We use a special statement named pass to fill in the body until we're ready to write it. Pass is a very special statement. It does absolutely nothing but take up space, telling the computer to pass over this line. Since we always have to have a body, if we didn't put the word pass there, Python would crash with a syntax error. 